screen, survivors. Uh, this is a short video to talk about an UI element that is getting a lot of people confused. Now, first of all, let me... Oh, that's not what I want to do. This is what I wanted to do. Uh, let me preface this with um, a comment to the fact that if the UI is getting people confused, it's not people's fault. It is the responsibility of the UI designer to make people not get confused. It's the UI's responsibility. So just getting that out of the way, I'm not saying it's people's fault. No, 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 no. Now, that said, um, I really don't have a problem with uh, this thing that it's, it's, uh, people are having uh, trouble with. But, um, yeah, people are having trouble with it. So uh, let's take a look and see um, see what we, we can find out about it. So here's what I'm talking about, which is comparing things. So let's uh, go over a few examples where comparison can take place. Well, I have the military helmet here selected. And I click, um, sorry, I have military helmet selected, mouse over, mining helmet. So there you, there you have it. There is a comparison there. Now, I could also click on the mining helmet and there is a comparison there. I could click here on the Iron Reinforced Club, nothing. Mouse over something else, something. Hey, so um, let's let's start. By, I mean, my goal here is to explain to to let you know exactly what the numbers mean. Okay, so that's my goal. I want to I want people to know exactly what those numbers mean. So first of all, whenever there are two numbers being shown, such as here. We have two numbers, we have one number, and then one number in parentheses. The first number, those numbers here, always correspond to the item that is shown here. Right? So let's go to the armor where that this is where things get confused the most. So click on the mining helmet. Mising, mining uh mousing over the like sorry, I click on the military helmet. I am mousing over the mining helmet. So the numbers in parentheses do not belong to the mining to, to the military helmet. Okay? The military helmet is being shown here. So it is the first number, the outside number, six, six percent. Those numbers correspond to the military helmet because that is what is being shown here. Now let's say I click on the mining helmet. Okay, so these numbers correspond to the mining helmet because the mining helmet is being shown here. I mouse over the football helmet and it's not showing anything. That's the military helmet. But I believe if I click here outside the, the uh, character uh, display, mouse over here. Oh yes, uh, sorry. It was showing something, okay. Yeah, these numbers are all equal. And then there is the last number down below, the durability. There is one in parentheses and the other is not. The one in parentheses is not the mining helmet. It's something else. So this is the first thing you have to know. And this is, this always works. It always works, okay. If you're seeing, there, Iron Reinforced Club, then anything else is going to be not the Iron Reinforced Club. Anything in parentheses is not the Iron Reinforced Club. The first numbers are the Iron Reinforced Club because that's the picture that is being shown. Now, um, generally speaking, it's pretty easy to see uh, how comparison works. You click on something, you mouse over on something, um, that's that. 
the uh, things you are mousing over is in parentheses. The thing that you are not mousing over is in um, is the first one displayed. And this works most of the time. Now, the problem happens when I click, for example, on mining helmet, and there are numbers being shown there. Okay, that happens for armor and armor only, and it happens because it always compares to the armor you are using. So, if you click on the mining helmet and mouse over something else, you're comparing mining helmet with that other something else. So I'm comparing mining helmet with the football helmets here. Okay, but if I'm not mousing over something that can be wore on the head, if I'm not mousing over an alternative to the mining helmet, and I am wearing a helmet of some kind, then it's going to show between parentheses what I'm wearing. If I stop wearing something, there is nothing in parentheses. If I wear something, it is mining helmet because that's what the picture here is and whatever I'm wearing. In this case, the football helmet. All right. And this works for any kind of uh, uh, any kind of armor. So I don't even need to, to have my character display on uh, being shown. So this is basically inventory. Uh, I click on gloves and there are numbers in parentheses because I'm wearing gloves. So these numbers in parentheses are the ones I'm wearing right now. Now, if I come here and click on the military glove that I'm wearing, a mouse over something else, then it's showing the data for military gloves because that's what the picture there is. And it's, it is just this, it, it doesn't have for anything else. For example, I'm welding, welding the uh, wooden club, uh, my mouse over something else here, an alternative to the wooden club. It, it doesn't, it, it just doesn't show anything else, okay? I have to click on it and then mouse over something else. But for the specific case of armor, if you click on it and you don't mouse over something else, then it compares to whatever you were wearing. I wish it would compare to whatever you are yielding as well. That would be very useful in my opinion, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's how it goes. And it could show in parentheses somewhere, I don't know, could maybe show in parentheses here, uh, the name of what is that military helmet is compared against, uh, or whatever you're clicking is being compared against. Even if you're just mousing over, um, I don't know, just seeing the name up there might help things uh, go along, you know? So, yeah, that's, that's it. It's just, it is very simple rule. This picture corresponds to the numbers outside parentheses. Okay? That's always the case. There is no case in which these numbers here, outside parentheses, do not correspond to what this picture is here. There is no case. So that means that whatever is in parentheses in this case has 216 durability more than the mining helmet, um, it's equal in every other stat. Now I mouse over military helmet. That means that whatever I'm mousing over, the military helmet in this case, has two less armor rating, 2% more effect resistance, same stamina per second, mobility, cold resistance, heat resistance, and 600 more max durability. It's very simple rule, okay? It's, um, uh, people say, oh, but the red means uh, red is good, red is bad. Um, 
Yes, yes. There, are, there are cases such as uh, let's uh, try. To, let's get a different helmet here, for example, scrap helmet. Um, so let's say here. Um, no, the scrap helmet is not a good comparison against the the mining helmet. The mining helmet used to be heavy armor and became light armor, but with heavy armor stats. So it has the benefits of heavy armor and the penalties of light armor. So a mining helmet basically is the best armor in the game period because it's better than any light armor, but has the same penalties as light armor. So here, for example, I'm comparing military helmet, that's the picture there, and scrap helmet, that's I'm mousing over. Uh, everything is negative, and uh, uh, it's red, sorry, everything is red. Um, the fact that it's red just means uh, it's lower. It doesn't mean it's worse. Um, for example, mobility is a very, very, uh, 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 no, not the mobility. Um, wait a second. No, armor rating five. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, this scrap helmet is 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 borked. Sorry. There. So uh, numbers in parentheses. Plus three. The better armor rating. That's fact. Nine is better than six for armor rating. Uh, effect resistance plus three. It's better. Uh, stamina per second. Uh, minus 0 0.33 uh, it's less and that means it's if uh, it happens to be worse uh, I mean uh, you losing nine per second is worse than losing 0.57 per second uh, mobility uh, minus six versus uh, minus four that's also better oh yeah, as it happens here, everything in parentheses and in red, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's better. Um, there used to be a case where having a lower number was, um, oh, here, here's the case where lower number is, is better. So in armor, it seems that everything, if, if it's red, it's worse. But for, our, uh, for weapons, you have stamina cost. So... Uh, the wooden club that I'm mousing over is minus one stamina cost over the iron reinforced club, so that's 16. Um, that's better. 16 stamina cost is better than 17 stamina cost because you want to use less stamina. So uh, this is a case where the neg the, the uh, red number there doesn't mean it's worse. It just means it's less. Well, it always means it's less. If it's negative, it's red. If it's positive, it's green. Um, in some cases, specifically here, in stamina cost, stamina cost being red is better because you're going to use less stamina. That's uh, one, one case there. Um, you, you could argue that uh, it should always display green when it's better and red when it's worse. Uh, but the rule is if it's negative, it's red. If it's positive, it's green. Um, yeah. Um, it, it is at least it's a, um, it's a clear rule. So you just have to be aware that in some cases being negative is better than being positive. But this is all I had, and I hope you can now understand exactly what um, is meant when, when you're comparing items, and do not get confused again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you for watching.